What's going on guys? Danny here from Metal Couch and December is here and I'm feeling festive and later on this month we're going to be doing a 12 days of Christmas set of videos but for now this is a review I've been putting off for a long time mostly because I was trying to find out how I was going to wing it on this channel because this is not necessarily metal but it is something that caught my attention a few years back when this was released and this is the official soundtrack to Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon on vinyl. And uh, this is one of the, this is one of my favorite vinyls that I own, and uh, it was pretty expensive too. Uh, a little bit of backstory, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon is a spin-off title of the Far Cry series, which is available on Xbox 360, PS3, and PC, and is sort of like an love letter to the 80s in action films and science fiction of the era. It stars Michael Bean as Rex Power Colt, a cyber commando from the ashes of Vietnam War II, who has to take on his old sergeant Sloan and find out the mystery behind the Blood Dragons and Cyber Commandos. It's a really absurd game, it's not to be taken seriously, and it's kind of timely that I'm talking about this, considering that if you have a PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Plus, you can download the game for free this month. So, get out there, buy it. It was my game of the year a few years back. But, we're here to talk about this. The soundtrack. Now, earlier this year, I talked about John Carpenter and Lost Themes, and it got me kind of feeling like maybe I should do soundtracks sometime on this channel. I even put a thing up on Facebook, and some people had a nice warm response to that, thinking, hey, it's your channel, you kind of do whatever you want with it. Power Glove is the name of the group that did the soundtrack to Blood Dragon. Now, you can find another video of a gentleman who talks about this soundtrack on YouTube. I watched it before recording this. And this gentleman has is uh, confused as to which power glove he's talking about. He's talking about a metal band, uh, kind of like a, a metal band that does video game covers and stuff like that, like a Pokemon theme. This is not the same power glove. This is an electronic group out of Australia who um, have two EPs under their belt besides this full-length soundtrack, and uh, they're quite good. I recommend checking those out. Uh, I recently acquired those on vinyl as well. I may talk about them somewhere down the line, but Blood Dragon. The best way to describe this soundtrack is to take all of the awesome songs that you heard from the eight in 80s action films and put them onto one soundtrack. Let me give you a few examples. The Blood Dragon theme is an all-out synth kind of nightmare. Um, the reprise version of the track at the end of this album is much better than the uh, big bombastic synthy opening theme. It, it, it conveys a superb amount of lunacy and is also absurd and is weirdly fitting with the action that is going on in this game. Then you have things like Warzone, which is clearly a throwback to things like Brad Fidel of The Terminator. Um, lots of things, it's like mechanical, uh, heart-beating kind of things that he would do with the Terminator score are definitely present on Warzone. Um, then you have things like, uh, on side B, you have Power Core, which is played throughout the entire game and is an awesome, awesome track. One of the best ones off of the album. And you also have Sloan's Assault, which is probably my favorite track off of this album. If you kind of want an idea of what this soundtrack is in general, just YouTube or go to Power Glove's SoundCloud page and just listen to Sloan's Assault. It's kind of fucking awesome. Um, then you have all three combat themes on Side B, which, uh, Combat 3 being my favorite, um, kind of a way that they do this soundtrack is not only do you have the synthesizers of the 80s, but you also have that kind of 80s guitar, like what you would hear, uh, there's a specific music stinger that YouTuber Razorfist uses sometimes uh, whenever he's referencing Black Rain. And it's like this really awesome guitar, like, lick. It's super weird. Uh, that's That kind of stuff is present all throughout the album. I, have, I don't even know if you guys have any idea what I'm talking about, but uh, there's stuff like that. Like, this game is so absurd, and the soundtrack is so good because it fits in with that absurdity. Uh, moving on. Once you get over to uh, Disc 2 on Side A, you have things like The Love Theme, which is probably the biggest departure off of the album in particular. Uh, it's 
It's what you would expect in a love theme. It sounds like an 80s love theme. Like, take Berlin's Take My Breath Away and make it a synth version of that. And it's it's basically what you've got. Top Gun. That's, that's a weird movie. S Side B of Disc 2. Uh, we have stuff like Death of a Cyborg, Resurrection, and the reprise of the Blood Dragon theme. The only thing I'm disappointed in with this release is that in the game they have a rendition of the Power Glove song Hunters. Uh, which is in this kind of like a sequence where you're doing nothing but shooting zombified scientists who are trying to kill you. And you have a lever action shotgun from Terminator 2 called the Galleria 1991. So that kind of gives you an idea of just how crazy this game is. And it's playing this song that they had in the that was taken from the soundtrack Hobo with a Shotgun. And they made a remix of it. Awesome song. One of my favorite songs in the game not present on the album, and that's really the only thing that I can fault it for. Um, I know this isn't really much of a metal album, and I've been itching to talk about this for quite some time. Um, I like Power Glove a lot. I thought EP1 that they had released, their first one, was excellent, uh, save for the last song, which is kind of bananas, and I didn't really like it. It's a remix of somebody else's song, and it just didn't really strike my fancy. Uh, and then EP2 was a little bit more experimental, even for them, incorporating more modern elements of what you would find in the modern scene of electronica. Um, I like the soundtrack to this game a lot. Playing through Blood Dragon and having that backing it up soundtrack-wise, it is a match made in heaven. If you like John Carpenter, if you like Brad Fidel, if you like any awesome synth soundtracks from the 80s, I highly recommend picking this up. Um, unfortunately, when it comes to physical release, I believe this is the only way to get it, but you can buy the album digitally. Um, but me, I like having something in my hands to play whenever I want to, and this is the only way I can get it, and this is the only way I can get it. Um, there is a download card in here, which um, I'm thinking about maybe giving away for Christmas. So, this is kind of improv. Um, I guess just leave a comment down below saying, how, like, what's your favorite John Carpenter soundtrack and why? And I guess the comment that I like the most, I'll message you and give you my download card for this. Because I, I'm not going to need it. I have the album right here. And uh, I had already bought the album digitally when it was released. And now I have a physical copy of it. So if you want the digital soundtrack of Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon... Let me know below what your favorite John Carpenter score is and why. Make sure to highlight some tracks, too. I'm a big John Carpenter fan, and I'd like to be able to talk with other people about it. Um, I'm not going to give this soundtrack a grade, because it's... It's hard to be critical of something that I have such a heavy bias towards, which would be 80s synth soundtrack music. Um, it's a very good soundtrack. I highly recommend listening to this. So... Yeah, recommendation, hi. Again, if you want the soundtrack, i got the download card in here. Just leave a comment below with the stuff that I had asked you to do. And, uh, yeah, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Go out and download it if you have it. PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Plus. You won't regret it. It's not that long of a game. Not too short, either. So, take care, guys. Danny here from Metal Couch, signing out.